Who is the best point guard in the entire NBA? That's a question that is asked in the NBA world all the time. Today, I'll be not only answering that question, but I'll be ranking 43 of the world's best point guards currently in the league. Okay, so we have pretty much all the point guards in the NBA down here, and we have six different tiers. We have generational talent, which personally, I think there's only gonna be like three point guards up in this tier. Then we have the franchise players, all-star tier, above average, average and below average so basically the worst point guards that make the cut because not every point guard in the nba is going to be ranked today but the worst ones here you know i could already see one of them like right here he's going to probably be in the below average tier since it's the all-star break we don't have much games to talk about i figured today we'll rank the point guards for this season so this isn't for the future this isn't what they've done in the past but it's pretty much what they've done this season and if there's a player that got hurt or maybe hasn't played much this season i'm just gonna have to put him where i think he would go so if you guys are new we're on the road to 2k subs and let's get into it so the first point guard is fred van vliet i'm gonna put him in all-star range i know he's not an all-star this year but he's either above average or all-star so for now we'll put him in all-star and maybe i'll move him to above average by the end next up we have dennis schroeder i feel like he's average okay so he's probably above average a lot of the players in this video are going to be above average but for this ranking because we want to have you know an even spread or whatever we're going to have dennis schroeder in average for now maybe he moves up at the end i kind of doubt it next up we have terry rogier i think him and fred van vliet are pretty much in the same tier i will put him one spot above fred van vliet and then we have javon carter he'll be the first player in below average gabe vincent will also be going in below average russell westbrook at this point in his career i mean he used to be a generational talent you know what i'm saying he won mvp he has an mvp you know the triple doubles are crazy he used to be a franchise player he used to be an all-star he used to be above average he used to be now he's just but no i'm just kidding um russell westbrook is i guess average at this point in his career above average i don't know one or the other we'll put him in average we'll put him at the top of average for now next up jalen brunson for me he's gonna go in franchise player tier again generational talent is gonna be very tough to get into i think brunson he's pretty much the Knicks franchise player and you know i don't think terry's a franchise player. i don't think fred is brunson i think perfectly fits in that tier halliburton some of y'all are gonna expect me to put him in generational talent i'm not gonna do that i am going to put him in franchise player i personally would go halliburton over brunson i know this year halliburton's got a lot of hype especially earlier in the year now a lot of people are saying brunson over halliburton i'm gonna stick with halliburton over brunson again we're not we're not done with the year i think halliburton's gonna turn up hopefully i'm not jinxing it but we'll go halliburton with one spot above brunson you could say generational talent i'm not gonna do that he's pretty much at the top of franchise player next up we have kpj see he was pretty good when he played but obviously he's not playing this year i'm gonna put kpj in above average because he's pretty solid scoot henderson man i mean he's below average right now he's below average next year he's probably gonna be average i think he will get better as the career goes on but i'm gonna have to start off putting scoot henderson in below average for this season damian lillard he's a franchise player maybe you could argue generational talent right now i don't think he fits into that tier he's definitely above all-star do i want to put him above brunson or halliburton okay so i'm kind of changing the criteria of these rankings it would be kind of like who i would rather want right so i would prefer if i had a team right this season i'm taking lillard over halliburton and brunson i know some of y'all might not agree you're gonna say halliburton's having a better year brunson's having a better year that might be true but for me i'm gonna put lillard above these players again if y'all want to put him behind him it doesn't matter we all kind of agree lillard is in that franchise player tier next up we have a man thompson i'll put him in average tier i don't think i don't know i'll put him in average we'll just put him in average for now again he's gonna progress sga we have the first generational talent point guard of the video again i personally think there's going to be only three in the entire video you guys can probably figure out which three guards that is going to be sga is in that tier how old is he like 25 i don't know he's pretty young he's in the mvp race already at a young age he is generational james harden once upon a time was generational see ah, james harden i'm gonna put him at the top of all star he's not really in the franchise player tier anymore 
I think he's like at the top of the all-star tier. Next up, we have Luka. There's really no explaining here. He's a generational talent. And this, this is kind of another topic, but I think Luka is potentially going to be the face of the NBA once, you know, the LeBron, Steph, KD era comes to an end, which is pretty much, you know, in that phase right now. There's probably, you know, a few years left. And I think Luka just has such, just a crazy amount of talent to where he's going to be the face, if not one of the faces of the NBA when those players leave. So Luca above SGA, he is first place in generational talent right now. Next up, we have DeJounte Murray, who will go in the all-star tier. I'll put him above Taya Rozier. Then we have LaMelo Ball. Now this might surprise y'all. I think LaMelo Ball is a franchise player, so I'm gonna put him in this tier. Does he belong in a tier with Lillard? You know? Probably not. You know what? Maybe maybe I should change these tiers up. Hold on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move KPJ down to average. And then I am going to... And actually, matter of fact, we're going to move Amen Thompson down as well. And we are going to move DeJounte, Terry, and Fred down. And then we're going to put LaMelo right above James Harden. Now, I do think LaMelo is technically a franchise player if you want to go by the name. But we're, we're going off tier. You know what I'm saying? We don't got to stick to the textbook definition of what a franchise player is. Just think of it as tiers right these are the tiers of play and some people are gonna say Lamelo should be in this tier i don't know i have a hard time putting him with damian lillard this season with halliburton this season you know what i'm saying so we're gonna move him down with the james harden tier and i do think both of these players when they were playing obviously Lamelo's hurt we're having crazy years so yeah trey young i think he's a franchise player you know what yeah i'm gonna put him there i know he gets a lot of hate in the media people are saying he shouldn't be an all-star. I think he should have been an all-star. He got in, obviously, with the injuries and stuff like that. But I think he should have been in straight up. It shouldn't have had to come down to the injuries. I'm going to put him as a franchise player. I will put him at the end, though, behind Brunson and them. Steph Curry. Now, personally, I easily have him. Maybe not easily, but I have him above SGA. I think we can all hopefully agree that Steph Curry deserves to be in this top tier with SGA and Luka. Personally, I'm going to put him at the top of the tier. This might be the last year that I do this, maybe one more year. But when I'm thinking, who do I want this year? I'll give Steph Curry one or two more years ahead of a guy like Luka or SGA. I know a lot of y'all are going to disagree with me. I am a Warriors fan, so maybe I'm a little bit biased. But I see what he does every night and how he impacts the game, how defenses have to game plan for him. It's a lot. And obviously, they got a game plan for Luka and SGA. But... I don't know just give me steph curry give me steph curry it's i don't know if you want to put him here i i wouldn't be mad at you but i'm gonna put him at the top of generational talent and he's most likely gonna be the best point guard on the entire tier list next up we have tyrese maxi who i will put behind trey young i oh, wait mm. i'm gonna put him at the top of all-star i'm gonna put him at the top of the all-star because I don't quite think he's a franchise player, but I mean, you could put him, I don't know. I'm gonna put him at the top of All-Star. Some people are gonna hate me for it. Next up, we have John ja Morant, who I am going to put, I would put him above Brunson. Obviously, if healthy, I would put him right here above Brunson. A lot of people are gonna be mad at me. I know there's a lot of Knicks fans. A lot of people, you know, are seeing the season Jalen Brunson's having. Personally though, if, if Morant was healthy, I probably lean Morant over Brunson. And again, sorry to the Brunson fans. I know he's having a great year and that's going to piss some people off. Next up, we have a Mike Conley who I'm going to put in average and I'm going to put him above Russell Westbrook at this point in his career. Both of them on the back end. Next up, we have Chris Paul who I will put one spot above Mike Conley. Very similar players at this point in the career. Kyle Lowry. I don't. He's pretty, he's he's below average. I'm not gonna lie. He's out of, I really wouldn't want him. I wouldn't want him on my team. Let's put him below average. Malcolm Brogdon though, he's pretty solid. Is he above average? I feel like he could be. Let's put him at the top of average. Let's put Malcolm Brogdon at the top of average. Next up, Derek White. Ooh, he's good. Is he better than Fred, Terry, or DeJounte? Some people that have been on the Derek White hype train are gonna say, yeah, he's above him. He deserves to be an all-star. He's really good, but these players are, you know, can fully run an offense. You know what I mean? These three players aren't taking over an offense necessarily, although Terry kind of did that in Charlotte when LaMelo was out, averaging like 24 points a game. I don't know. I'm going to put Derek White right here. 
but if you wanted to put him you know here i wouldn't be mad at it next up we have spencer dinwiddie who i think he's a better player than what we've seen this year like the nets kind of used him weird they had the emergence of cam thomas which kind of disrupted things i'll put spencer dinwiddie right here above chris paul and mike conley yeah and then we have d'angelo russell who i would put below kpj right above spencer dinwiddie and hold on this average tier is starting to get long and it's starting to get weird i might have to rethink things here in a second okay so i'm gonna fix up the tiers we're gonna move to jante murray up a tier does he deserve to be in a tier with tyrese lamello i don't know we're gonna put him at the back end of it you could say the same thing about Trey. Does Trey deserve to be in the same tier as Halliburton and Lillard? Probably more so than Murray deserves to be in a tier with Maxi. But that's beside the point. We need to even out these tiers a little bit. We're going to move Brogdon up and we're going to move KPJ up. I don't know. I was high on KPJ when he was healthy. He obviously didn't play this year. So should he even be ranked? Probably not. But we'll just keep him in the rankings for now. And we'll also move up D'Lo. We'll keep Spencer Dinwiddie down there. And then we have Marcus Smart, who I will put at the top of the average tier then we have Kyrie Irving where do I want to put Kyrie Ooh, he's he's in that maxi range for me I would go Kyrie personally I would go Kyrie over maxi and I would put Kyrie at the top of the all-star tier he's not really a franchise player at this point in time I'll go Kyrie at the top of all-star Colin Sexton having a really good year I'll put him right above Malcolm Brogdon. I think that's a perfect spot for him. Next up, we have a Markel Fultz. He's really been banged up this year. To be honest, I haven't watched the Magic too much. I haven't watched him too much. So I might misrank him, but I'm going to put Markel Fultz like right here behind Marcus Smart. I'm just kidding. After looking into it more, I'm going to put him behind Kyle Lowry in the below average tier. Next up, we have Tyus Jones, who... We obviously have Trey Jones right here. I'll go Tyus over Trey. They're pretty comparable though. Tyus Jones, we will put at the top of average. You could argue he's at the back end of above average, but I will go with Tyus right above a Marcus Smart. Maybe I'll put him behind him. I don't know. We could put him behind Marcus Smart. Yeah, well, I'll go, I'll go Tyus behind Marcus Smart. And honestly, Marcus Smart, we're going to move him up to above average. He's at the back end of above average. And next up, we have Cade Cunningham. I'm pretty high on him. Is he a franchise player? Yeah, I think you could say that. But does he deserve to be in this tier for this year? Probably not. So we're going to have to bump Cade down to probably right here at this point in their career. Who would I rather have? I think I'd rather have all the guys above him for this season. So I'll put Cade right there. But again, he is a franchise player but he's young, he's still developing. So we're not going straight off the names. If we were, you know, he'd be up here. Who else would be up there? I don't know. Maybe Lamelo, Lamelo would be up there, but we're not going strictly off the names. We're kind of going by the tiers. Trey Jones, I think that I would go Trey Jones. Ooh, he's a weird one to rank. I'll put him like right here above Russ. In fact, real quick, let me iron out these tiers i'm gonna go with schroeder above i'm gonna move schroeder up a lot i think he was just a little bit low and then i'm also gonna put trey jones behind russell westbrook i'm gonna put russell westbrook up here above chris paul and mike conley um but behind dinwiddie for now then we have monte morris who i'm gonna put pretty much at below average also i'm gonna move gabe vincent to the back because he just hasn't played actually not we'll keep him there because if he did play i'd probably take him over javon carter and them and then also i'm gonna move scoot henderson to the top of below average i know that's not something to be proud of but we're gonna do that cole anthony definitely deserves to be in the average tier now where should he be i'll put him like right above spencer dinwiddie next up we have delon wright who just is below average at this point andrew nemhard i'm actually pretty high on him i think you know moving forward we're talking about this year so he's going to be ranked pretty low and honestly i'm going to put him above scoot henderson call me crazy for this season give me andrew nemhard i think he's a little bit more safer i don't know he's a little bit more smart i just like him more as an nba player right now than Scoot Henderson. So I'll put Andrew Nemhard at the top of below average. Again, nothing crazy, but for some of you, you're gonna be like, what? I'd rather have Scoot. Nah, I'll go Nemhard, but still, he's below average right now. De'Aaron Fox, 
he definitely deserves to be in the franchise player tier in my opinion i would put De'Aaron fox above trey young and i'm just gonna keep him here i've had some thoughts about putting him above brunson we'll keep him right there for now next up we have drew holiday where should he go i think he's better than above average he's probably all-star range i would probably go drew over DeJounte. see the thing is the way that the celtics have their offense it's very spread out you know tatum's points per game is down jalen brown's points per game is down they have a lot of options porzingis you know Derek white so Holiday's stats have taken a hit. However, he's still a crazy defensive player. And I think if he was on a team like DeJounte's on where they don't have too many options or like LaMelo's on where they don't have too many options, his offensive numbers would look better. So I think, yeah, I think this is the perfect spot for Drew Holiday right above DeJounte Murray. Next up, we have Jamal Murray, who I would probably put right here behind James Harden. I think that's the perfect spot. I don't really think I would explain it much. And then we have Darius Garland, who I would put probably right behind Jamal Murray. So this is my rankings. Let me real quick look it over and see if I make any changes. I like the rankings that I have a lot. The only thing I'm going to do, and it's very minor, is I'm going to put Dennis Schroeder above Tyus Jones. But yeah, this is what I have. Steph Curry, Luka, and SGA at the very top, followed by Dame, Halliburton, Morant, Brunson, Fox, and Trey Young. You guys can see the rest. Let me know. What was the craziest choice that I made? Maybe you think Steph Curry should be in the all-star range. Maybe you think that LaMelo Ball should be in the generational talent range. Which player do I have off the most? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys wanna see me do a different position, maybe center, small forwards, let me know in the comments and I can make that video soon. Again, if you made it this far, sub up. Comment down below, cause I wanna see who really is making it to the end of these videos. Sub up, I'll see y'all tomorrow.